Hey everyone, it's Kristen from Illuminate Music, and today we are going to learn how to play the G chord. Now, in a previous video, you've probably learned how to play that tricky triangle or G7 chord with me. And if you are a visual person, you know that when we make that G7, we make a triangle on our frets. Well, in order to make that G chord, we're going to turn this tricky triangle upside down on our fret. So we are going to essentially be making a downward triangle, an upside down triangle with our fingers on the fretboard. So what you are going to be using is you're going to be using three fingers, just like we would for tricky triangle. You're going to be using your pointer, your middle, and your ring finger. And we are going to be placing our fingers to make that upside down triangle in the second and third frets. So remember, whenever we talk about placing our fingers in certain frets, we're talking about spacing. So the space, you count from the top, one, two, three, and so on. We're gonna be using the second and the third fret today. So we're gonna start out in the second fret and we're gonna place both our pointer and our middle fingers in the second fret. So let's start off with our pointer finger. You're gonna place your pointer finger on the third string in the second fret. Third string, so that's the second one from the top or counting up from the bottom, the third string. Okay, then you're gonna put your middle finger in the second fret, first string. All right, so both of them are making two points of our upside down triangle. We need to add the point of this upside down triangle, which means you're gonna stick your ring finger into the third fret on the second string, okay? So we did three and one on the second fret. So right in between them, you stick your ring finger down one fret, the third fret, second string. And if you are tuned, it's gonna sound something like this. All right? Let's try strumming this for a bit just to see it that we're getting comfortable with it, okay? Hold those strings, give them nice good support. Make sure your hand isn't resting at all down on any of the other strings, but have that wrist up. Use your thumb in the back for support. And let's try strumming. One, two, here we go. everyone. Hopefully you've got a hang of that G chord. Keep practicing and I'll see you soon.